Here we go. Hey everyone, it's Donna, and tonight we're going to be doing um, a change set on my infusion side for my um, my uh, insulin pump. I have the uh, Tandem T Slim with Control IQ. I have my Dexcom G6 on my arm right now, and what we're going to do is because I'm need to do a change right here shows that I have this little red button shows that I have what 16 units left of insulin in this uh, change this uh, cartridge that I have in my in my pump so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to change it out and not be afraid um, I want to tell you that just a, a couple weeks ago I switched over to this pump and I had to do it by telephone um, they um, were you know afraid to meet with me in person because of the quarantine we had and so because of that um, it was decided that we would just do it by phone and I did it it was no problem so what we're going to do is we're going to start out by first I'm gonna I always leave this on just for a second until I get this filled up so we're going to go with this first and here's what I use I use the AutoSoft 90. Okay, so let's open the box and grab one out. Aren't these kind of cute? And I think these come in pink and blue, and I think I might go for the pink next time. But this is the AutoSoft 90, and they're really neat because they pack them, and I've used quite a few here. They've uh, packed them in these cute little containers, and it makes it handy dandy to, to travel with. And then you have the um, cartridges, and you have to fill them up. So it has strips of these little needles that you fill them up the cartridges with and then you have to have the little syringe to shoot it into the cartridge and then of course you have to have the cartridge okay so here's what you need to have when you begin so I'm going to set this out if you're worried about changing your set I don't want you to worry I just want you to get everything kind of set out so you know what you're doing and of course you're going to need I use Umalog you're going to need a bottle of insulin and you're going to need a swab okay so what we're going to do first is we are going to open the swab. We're going to wipe off the bottle, okay? And we're gonna use this in the same swab in a few minutes to wipe off the site where I'm going to do the insertion at. So I'm gonna set this little swab right there. Then I'm going over here um, to this. So let's fill this up first. We're going to fill up the cartridge and um, let's see here, there's a little side over here that you can just peel this back. So you peel this thing off, throw that aside so you can see what I'm doing. And then you're going to open up your syringe, get everything laid out really nice and neat so that you know what you're doing. Everything's cool right there. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put the cap on the syringe and Pull off the top, okay? Lay your cap off to the side because you'll need to put that on when you're done. And then you're going to pull back. Now, um, what I do, the, my way is easier, and this is the way I was trained by my trainer, um, and she's a diabetic as well. We're going to put some insulin in here first before we do something else. So I'm gonna pull a little bit of insulin into this from the bottle into the syringe right now, and I'm really not gonna care not a whole lot about the air bubbles right now because I'm getting ready to pull air out of my cartridge. So I just wanna put a little insulin in here. Okay, we're gonna lay that aside. Then we're gonna to go to the top up here. We've got a, there's a little bitty like baggie inside of this cartridge that fills up with insulin. So we need to take any excess air out of here so that we um, don't have any air in this thing when it's coming through the line. So. You're going to put it in. You're going to feel some resistance. And when you feel the resistance on this thing, then you are going to stop. You don't want to force it. Lay it down like this and start pulling back. Okay? And you can see maybe, I don't know if you can or not, but there's air. Air coming through there. And felt pretty tight. I think the baggie's empty. So you have some air, and I'll show you right there, there's some air that came out through there, okay? And you're going to take that, and you're gonna put it back into your bottle. This is what I do, 
And then we're going to do our draw for what goes into the bottle. And I'm going to turn this around and just fill it up gently. You don't want to have any bubbles in this. Got to be careful. So what I'm going to do is put on my glasses because I want to be safe about this. Whew. Here we go. Smack myself in the face with the glasses. And I see some air bubbles. So we're going to go like that as we take it and clean it out, fill it up. Okay. And we do this like this. And don't panic. I, a lot of people get scared and they think, oh gosh, there's going to be an air bubble. You're going to be, you're going to be just fine. Okay, just keep clicking it. Doesn't take that long, guys. But I, what I do is get the, the thing ready and then, I, and then I disconnect from my pump. Because, you know, you want to use every drop of insulin that's going into your body so that your blood sugar doesn't rise while you're doing this. So, I leave that alone until I am ready. And I am filling this little baby up. Okay, and I think we're ready. And then we're going to set that aside. We're going to go back up here where we drained out the insulin. We're going to put this syringe right through that little thing right there. And we're going to fill it up. Okay. And you can see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to leave my cartridge and I'm going to leave it set up like this. Because if there's any air bubbles that are going to come out later, um, we want them to come to the top of the surface to go through the infusion site and to be, um, to be uh, discarded of as it, you know, when we're shooting out the excess insulin. So we don't need this anymore. We're going to set that to the side. Now we're going to go over here to the um, AutoSoft 90. There's a little red tab. You're going to peel that down. Okay, there you go. Let's take that paper off. There's a little cap with an arrow here on the side. And you might want to scoot a little closer because they're going to want to see this. The little tab right here, you, you're going to peel that off. I've got my granddaughter helping me here. So we do that, and then it should look like that on the inside. And you're going to see a little lip right here. You can see that. We're going to lift up on this lip, and sometimes it's going to be tricky. Oh, mine came right off. Sometimes they don't, but we want to save the cap because we're going to put that back on when we discard it. And inside, you're going to see the little, um, whatchamacallit, the little hose, if you want to fusion hose. And there's a little little lip right there. You want to disconnect it slowly. Okay. And this one's the end of the little booker. Okay. And we unwind it all the way. Okay. And then there's a little a little nodule right there. You're going to put your little hose right there and you're going to hold it down. And this one seems like it's got a little thing. Now, what you're going to do next is, um, hmm, I think what we're going to do next is we're going to, let's get ready for the, for the cartridge. So what you're going to do next, let's connect the cartridge. You're going to have this and this little end right here. We're going to tie those together, okay? Not too tight, I mean, but you want it nice and secure, all right? So then... Um, we get, we've got to remove this and I've got to go get my little click thing. So can you please put that on pause and I'll be right back. Okay. We're back. Okay. So what we're going to do is on the back, you're going to see with the, with the, uh, the, uh, pump facing this direction with the little hose going up, you're going to see a little area and this little tool that has been sent to you, or a coin, anything you have handy, that can, or a credit card even, I think we'd probably do it. You're going to slip it into this little slot because you've got to pop this thing out. So what we're going to start with is we're going to 
First, we're going to tell our pump. So you got to turn it on. Boom, boom, boom. Go in. You're going to go into options. You're going to go into load. Okay. And we're going to change the cartridge. Let's see, we got that on. Okay. So we're going to continue. It stopped all deliveries, if you can see that. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to remove this thing. And I have it on my side. So, and the tape, people worry about these things coming off so easily, but that tape is tough. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to take that little nodule on the back here, this little key ring thing that they give to you, or a coin, and you're going to pop it out. Easy, easy peasy. Okay, should come out like that. You're going to lay that to the side. Then you're going to take the new cartridge that you have, okay? You're going to slide it in like this, and you're going to hear a click, okay? Should do like that. And I left, I have a case on this, you guys, and I and I feel, fixed it right through the case. So um, it says, are you ready to continue? Yes. Oops, I got to turn it back on. So we go back in. If that happens, don't panic. You hit your little green buddy. Are you going to go? Are you going to continue? Yes. Now it is uh, preparing for the cartridge. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Screen is locked. Okay. Is the cartridge installed? Yes, it is. Now it's reading. It's reading the cartridge to show that it's been installed. Okay. So it's showing detecting the cartridge right now. So we're going to let it do that, and it, we're at 40%, yeah. it'll go up to 100%. We're at 70. Okay. And you know you can always pause this video and back it up if you're doing this and you get afraid. Just go back in. Okay, now it'll, it should say to you at the very bottom, on the next screen you will fill your tubing with insulin. Well, I want to do that, don't I? Okay, let's do it. So now you're going to see where it says start, okay? And it takes about, I don't know, 15 something units to fill this thing up. So you want to hold your pump like this because you want any air that's inside of your, um, inside of your pump to, um, to come to the top. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in the little nodule like this. So I can hold on to it. I'm going to hit my start button here, the little green button, and it's starting to fill. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to set it where, right there. It's kind of in a weird spot, but let's see. Maybe you can see it better there. And we are at, I always kind of like to watch it. And what I do is I start to flick it. I'll flick it because I can feel it sometimes better than I can see it. We're at 4.7 units, 5.1 units, 5.5. Five. So it's going up. In a few seconds, we will have a few more uh, units in this uh, tubing here. So I'm keeping it up while it fills up. 8 units, 8.7. Now we're nine. Okay. Start to shake it. And we've got to be kind of holding this so that we can turn it off when we need to. We're at 12 units. Keep shaking, Donna. Okay, I felt it. Stop. Okay. Now it is, it said stop filling, we're at, now it's detecting the insulin inside the tubing, okay, 70%, 100%, all right, and so the next thing we can do, if you see drops at the end of the tubing, please, please press done, okay, and that's, that's what I'm doing, so it says done down here. So I'm doing that, 
And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the insertion. It says fill the cannula, but we're going to do that at the very end. So what we're going to do is we're going to unwind the little sticky thing here. Isn't that cute? Like a little snake that we're unraveling. I can't push that baby down. And there's a little piece of blue tubing on here. I'm going to pull that up because we don't need that. That would kind of sting, I think, if we put that in like that. So always make sure to pull that baby off. And I'm going to set this down a second, and I'm going to get ready to put it on me. And everybody always always so afraid of this, but it's not that hard. This, the worst part is just the scare of it, I think. You think, oh, it's going to hurt. All you hear, feel mainly, is this a click. You want to put your alcohol on to make it nice and clean so that it does stick to you pretty well. So let's get that prepped and get it ready there. And then as it's doing that, you've got to, I'm going to loosen up the tube a second, and I'm going to pull this down. There's a little lever at the inside of here. You're going to pull this down until you hear click. Okay. I think I got it. Now this is the trick, because these things are kind of weird how they work. You take your tubing, you put it back in the nodule, okay? And you want your tubing to face upwards. You don't want your tube to go down. So it should be like this, you guys. Now then you're gonna put it up here. This is always the fun spot. And there's gonna be some ridge, I think you squeeze the ridge part. We'll find out. There's two, there's actually on two, two different sides, there's places for your fingers. This is always the trick. Come on. <laughs> I never get this thing to work. They need to make this easier. Okay, if that happens to you, and this has happened to me quite a few times, the instructor told me to make sure that I have it pulled back well enough. So let's try this baby again. Okay. Say a quick prayer for me, and let's hope this works. So I'm grabbing the little the little ridge thing here. Let's see if I'm pressing the right one. Oh, nope, I pressed the wrong one. What, I'll show you, in case that you do this, I'll show you exactly where to press. So my instructor told me that when you remove this thing, grab it by the little tail, the top here. There's a little holding area because she said the cannula of the needle goes in at a sideways direction. So you don't want to you want to grab it like this so that you don't uh, bend the cannula or harm that. And then you put the cap directly on this thing to discard it. Okay, but you have take your fingers three times around this, and let me show you where you're supposed to press. There's there's these ridges right here. You do not press there. You press on the smooth ones. There's two on over here, and this is where you press. Okay. So I wanted to show you that in case you start to press and you're thinking, where should I press? And then you're going to just come right over here. We're about done. You're going to wake up your pump and you're going to say, fill the cannula. Okay, fill it. It puts in just a little bit of insulin. Okay, start. Hit start. It puts a, a 0 0.3 units in me and it's filling it. Boom, 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 and stop filling, okay? And then you just hit this little green arrow. And you get this check that you've got it loaded. Okay, and you say, it says resume insulin now. Well, yeah, I think I'd like to have some insulin. Let's put that in there. And you can see the big splash, and the splash is there. And you're back to your main screen. I'm 133 right now, so. It's my blood sugar. So anyway, that's it, guys. And um, I hope this helps you guys. I know that um, sometimes it can be a tricky thing. I learned this by telephone. Um, first time was kind of scary, but I had a great trainer. Um, I did watch a lot of YouTube videos, and that really did help me. So I'm hoping that this video will help you guys, too. If you have any comments, please be kind. And um, check out my other videos. Um, and we will see you soon. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.